Chris is with us. Chris is in Lansing, Michigan. Hey, Chris, how are you? Hi, Dave. Thank you for having me. Sure. Um, I am on Baby Step 6, and I kind of have a two-part question. Um, My job security isn't too great right now, and I wanted to know, should I wait until I get a new job before I pay off my house? And if I didn't do that, what payments should I get rid of to work towards um, paying down my house? What payments should you get rid of? You have other debt? So I, they're like life insurance, uh, 401k, um, you know, the edge 501, like the educate 529 account tithing. So those are all, you know, things that I pay in towards, um, that maybe I could redirect towards my house. Okay. No way. Baby step six, we would tell you to keep living your life. And with money you find in your budget, you would pay extra on your house. Uh, it sounds like this job thing's got you rattled. Mm-hmm. How long have you been working there? Well, it's my company, so for 20 years. And I have a business partner. Okay. Um, so you're not going to lose your job. You might lose your business is what you're saying. Yes. If one of us um, doesn't leave and I'm the main contributor and it's not enough to support both of us. So slowly, um, my income has gone way down to a point where I can't really afford not to leave and he's not leaving. So I'm going to look for something different. What do you do? Um, it's a marketing company. Okay. Are you married to your business partner? No, no, but I am divorced. Did you used to be married to your business partner? I'm sorry. Did you used to be married to your business partner? No, no. Okay. So how is your business partner squashing your ability to earn a living? Um, because he's not contributing and we're 50, 50 partners. So he's not bringing in his side of the business yet. He's taking half of what you bring in. And since he's not bringing any in the the total pie is, has shrunk and he's what taking keeps half you of from it. closing the doors and opening a door next door and just doing this on your own and making all the money. Um, our partnership agreement I basically wouldn't be able to do that. Um, You have to buy out. In order to get out, you have to buy out. Uh, No, you'd have to, he'd have to buy you out if you wanted out. That's not how our partnership agreement is structured. Our uh, partnership agreement is structured that if you leave, um, you buy your clients if you were to take them. But I'm looking to get out of this industry altogether and start just a whole different chapter. Okay. So what are you going to do and what are you going to be making? Um, well, I'm looking right now, but I'm hoping to um, manage a team of people and be in sales. And um, I'm looking at around... 200 to 350. Okay, so um, this sounds like it didn't just suddenly occur. It's, it's crept up on you, and you've, you've put off making the decision. Correct. Uh, you've delayed. And so what yes. you need to do is not worry about your house and not worry about your tithe. You need to get on the phone today and get a freaking job, Chris. It's time to do this. Painter, get off the okay. ladder today. Yep. You, you, you're, you're a year, at least maybe six months late on someone kicking you. And I'm going to kick you right now. Cause I love you. Get going. I'm probably about five years <laughs> to 10 years. Late. Okay. Get, <laughs> then, then somebody needs to break the fog up. So I'm, I'm your guy. I love you enough. Okay. Get going girl. Okay. You're too sharp to be this I dumb. Know. Get going. 
Get yeah. going. Let's go. Go. I want you to have this done by the end of April. A new job and say bye bye. April. Yep. You got a month. I got it. I'm and in the listen, works. I got my resume ready to roll. You need to call me back <laughs> on the air and tell me you did it. I'm going to hold you accountable. Okay. Okay. And you need to call. Uh, who, who is your best girlfriend that's mean? <laughs> say it. Say I her name. Really say her name. Girlfriend. Yes, you do. Yes, no, you do. Who, who, who? I don't have any. Okay, what about your sister? Is she mean? No. I want I somebody mean. I want you to call nice them and tell people. them to call you and kick you if you don't do this. I want you to okay. declare to the world, I, it's time for you mean. to roar again, Chris. You're meowing. Yeah, I understand. I know that. And you are Thank not you. a kitten. You are a lioness. Am I wrong? Understood. This thing no, was built up by a woman and I of... I am a Leo. So, this whole thing yeah. was built up by a woman of substance. <laughs> this was built by a woman of substance. And yet you have, for some reason, you have watched this thing deteriorate and your life with it to the point now you're going, I don't know if I need to pay for groceries. No, you need to get a freaking job. I know. This You're is what's correct. going on. Yeah. Go get that and all of these other questions go away, don't they? You're hundred percent right. They ding do. ding. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Man, if you if hey Dave, something I don't hear at home very often, Dave, but there if you, you go. keep answering questions like this, <laughs> you're gonna turn this into a job. <laughs> yeah. We get now, so we right get now. so stuck in just the day to the day that sometimes it just takes someone looking at you and be like, What are you doing? You can solve all of it. All of it. You get trapped. But you you do need, uh, you really need people in your life, in your community that are that love you enough to go, uh, I'm watching you do nothing, and I'm tired of it. There's know? that famous uh, psycho- psychological study where they took the dogs, and you couldn't do this study now, but they shocked them, and um, they, they didn't give them an opportunity to escape. And then they had other dogs that they would shock that they would allow to escape. And over time... They would take the barriers off the dogs that they were shocking. The dogs just took it. Yeah. It was just learned helplessness. This is just the way this is going to be. And it just you need somebody to go, hey, go, go. You can run. And run away. Then they take off, right? You just yeah. got to get somebody to look at you. That, so that's the fun thing. So, yeah. Um, we all need that, though. Because what the, the fastest way, I mean, that's a classic uh, frog in a kettle thing. Right. I mean, fastest way to boil a frog is turn it up one degree at a time. Just a little bit of time, gradual, gradual, five years this has been deteriorating. And then you look up and you go, wait a minute, I'm boiling over here. Yeah. And this guy's doing nothing and still collecting half the, half the I'm revenue. Because tra- I'm trapped in a really stupid partnership agreement. Hmm. Hey, w- uh, I hear this happen a lot. People have an, an imaginary amount of money they're going to make when they leave their job. Mm-hmm. How, how tightly do you tell somebody to hold on to that versus get something and then begin to maneuver? In this one, get something and then begin to maneuver. Yeah. But um, 250 and three, just like I've been doing this job for 20 years, I'm just going to transition. She Seems might. High, she might. She maybe. might. She might. I mean, in this current environment where there's such a shortage of everybody, high quality, white collar people, I mean, yeah, it's she might. I don't know. I don't know what her skill set is, yeah. but uh, urgency is one of them. We got to add back to it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go.